six years of pain, like, no, like, seriously, bro, no sleep. Like, you, you're turning, the pain will wake you up. Oh and it gets worse. It doesn't get any better. Because I was breaking on it, like, breaking hard on it. So business as usual. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and, and ciphering and just, just doing what I do. Until, like, my breaking, actually, my structure changed because my leg wouldn't come in. What kept you going? Me. Killer Keller official .com. <laughs> You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. We go, we go. Cooking on gas, baby. <laughs> Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast. Serves you right. We're back in effect. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight to all the regulars and those that have got the Television app. Free download, street culture and more. iPhone, Android. Hold tight. Drain station um, and all of our other supporters inside the house. Oh my giddy gosh, it's going down. <laughs> there's some people that live, there's some people that break, and then there's some people that live to break. Perfect <laughs> inside the house. <laughs> What's up, brother? I'm good. How are you, champion? I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> Chilling. I just thought, cut to the, cut to the chase. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've got a legend inside the place. No question yeah, about it. I don't it. know about legend, but it's good. It's good. Come on. It's Come good. on I'm, I'm humble. I'm humble. <laughs> Stay humble. Yeah. Staying humble. How you yeah. been? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Yeah. Firing up. Still at it. Yeah. Still doing my thing. Mm. Still doing your thing. I was, we were talking outside. I was just trying to work out when, when was the last time we actually were in the same place, same cipher, same jam. Where was this? Where was you this? know, I, it it, it kind of like runs it runs in my head, but I I remember there was it was definitely an outdoor jam. Mm. I think uh, foundation. Ooh. Drew or them have got a picture of it. Oh shit! And it was it was live to break. It was Cookie Crew, and I remember you was beatboxing there. It's vague, but I do wow. remember. Oh, I man. can't remember where. Though. I think in West London. Cookie Crew as well. Mm. And and Scam and them were there. Yeah, yeah, they're the one who took the pictures. My mind is blown. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I I. I can remember. I remember meeting you there because I remember you as a kid. So I kind of <laughs> they grow like... up so quick, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, probably probably it was that. But I'm sure there was other places. Yeah, definitely. yeah. Uh, when I think of Pervez, I think of uh, Guarantee. You know what I mean? Like if you're if you're at a jam and you got to the point in your incline of career space and and you find yourself as a hip hop guy anyway yeah. in the in the company of Pervez or any of the other gang you definitely feel like you're on the right path you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. it was definitely that, that. it yeah. was definitely that gatekeepers yeah. of the scene I would argue um yeah we we tried to live you know um live the culture as much as we possibly could we we dressed it we talked it we walked it mm. so it was like I mean it was a part of our life mm. that's what we did and still is yeah my without a doubt <laughs> Different now. When you're older, it's kind of you're, you're mature and you're you're like you got to be careful as well where mm. you're trotting and what you're saying. Well, because it can be a little bit more outspoken. He's just like, yeah, I'll just say what Every, I think this time. Everything's on. Uh, really? Yeah, it's, everything's recorded now. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. it's all there. It's documented. So, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> you you got watch yourself, yeah, man. Yeah, you she know? she can get ta taken out of context, and before you know it, easily. Yeah. Especially when you're having conversations with people and then they're snapping the convo and they're frying it up on yeah. whatever social media, you're yeah. you're like, Well, I didn't mean that, man. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not back in the days you'll mm. go up to someone and say, What the fuck, man? Mm. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's different now. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you're anyone. I don't think it's an age thing from either of us actually. I think generally people are a bit tired of the, you know, a little bit less talk and a bit more action. Like mm. we wanna see the throw down, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Different generation, man. You reckon? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. People live, kids live on social media now. Mm. They can't live without it. Yeah, they king themselves. They will. They, 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 all of a sudden, their notoriety is like yeah. tenfold because of a, of a picture or breakdancing somewhere really like out, you know, it ain't in, it ain't in the octagon. Yeah. It's somewhere yeah. else, like down a park somewhere, back end of Kingston or something. Exactly. Like, you exactly. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. become super insta TikTok fans. But they learn a lot from, from, I mean, there's a good and bad of it, to tell you the truth, but I mean, they learn, 
it's not like you need to go classes no more because you can just watch somebody and or watch footage True. And, and learn your shit, you know? It's not like before it was like limited stuff we mm. get. And then if you get it, you watch it about a thousand times just to find out how is that move really done, you know mm. what I mean? And then you you kind of like, you learn it, you understand it, you put your flavor on it and you make it yours. Mm. You don't bite the move. But now it's, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, mm. man, everyone, everyone's looking alike. Looking alike, I think that's what it is. Because to be fair, Hey, if it, if, if it was any one of us in our disciplines and we had the opportunity to see our heroes on Instagram, just do that move mm. like a thunder, you'd grab it with both yeah, arms. Yeah. I mean, you know, hold tight all the plus three pause button crew <laughs> that know that, well, you know, yeah, 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 that's <laughs> slow right. motion. Yeah, yeah, we had slow motion, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, nowadays, it's and nowadays, without sounding too aged, it, it, it's a great thing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like you say, I guess the, the, the landscape can seem quite... And quite lin- quite linear, mm, isn't definitely. It? Um, and congratulations on your hip hop, which wasn't too long ago. Hip hop, <laughs> hooray! Hip- 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hip- 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 um, yeah, it was um, six years ago. Yeah. It, it, it just went. I thought I had a groin strain, to tell you the truth. Mm. And um, I kind of which like, is a standard thing for yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, rotator cuffs and groin strains. It's yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, I've, I've run, I've had it before. I run mm. through it. It wasn't going, and I was like, "Shit, I need to, I need to get it checked." <laughs> and then I got it checked, and they said, "Look, it's, it's it's literally gone. It's worn away." Wow. Yeah, and I was like, "Fuck, what am I gonna do?" And then, for some strange reason, bro, I thought I can heal it. <laughs> I went through the went through the healing process yeah. of like herbal changing medicines my and diet stuff like that, and yeah. herbal and trying to like all that stem cell shit. Looked into it, and I was like, "Can I do this?" And I was gonna do it, and then I was like. Six years of pain, like no, like seriously, bro, no sleep. Like you, your turn, and the pain will wake you up. Oh my. And it gets worse. It doesn't get any better because I was breaking on it, like breaking hard on it. So business as usual. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and and ciphering and just just doing what I do until like my breaking actually my structure changed because my leg wouldn't come in. Oh my god, that's mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was crazy, bro. It's crazy. It was horrible. And in the end, I was just like, I, I got to do it. So I got it changed. That, Aluminium. my friend, is dedication. Yeah, it was weird, though. Cause the truth is, like, I didn't know if I was going to break again. Like, inside me, I was just like, I'm done. Yeah. And then I was talking to my man, you know, um, my, my homeboy, Brett, Downrock from $7. And he was like, tight. you always say that, man. Because you go through them years mm. of, like, Something pushes you back and you're just like, oh man, do I really want to do this at this yeah, age? Yeah, yeah, or did yeah, you yeah. change your mind and you're constantly fighting yourself yeah, yeah, yeah. as you get older? And I was just like, I'm at my... And he goes, you're at your peak, bro, like in your 50s. He says, stop now. And then I was like, mm, yeah, let me think about that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But <laughs> oh, when so I, that was real talk. That yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it, was, it was, I had, you know, but I think you go through these phases in your life where you just want to trash and just like give up. Mm-hmm. And it's normal. It's a hum- It's human nature. It's, it's like it's just you being you, regardless of what you're doing. Mm. There, there's always hurdles there in your life that you want to just like, you just want to stop and just yeah. retract and go back, or even change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Without question. You know what I mean? Yeah, because there's a correlation between uh, beatboxing and um, breakdancing, and that is the, uh, the the happy fighter analogy that I think uh, Tyson once said. You know. A, a strong and healthy fighter is a happy one, and I think yeah. you know, age and wisdom and all that, but also the t- the, the athleticism of it. Mm. You really got to have dog ridden determination mm. and this desire to better. But then, to how far do you better when, as as you quite rightly experienced it, it comes back to you. It does come back to you eventually. Yeah, it does. But I think with with age, what happens is um, the age and experience. What happens is you start understanding more so your 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 flow mm. and once you once you understand your flow you're not using x amount of energy because now it, it's a everything's about repetition and and like a lot of turning and spinning and stuff mm. you know what i mean mm. the the flow foundation aspect of it is is kind of oh shit mm. <laughs> it's kind of different mm. like you know yeah i do get you do you fall into it uh, 
and, and this is again, we're talking to a, a, a legend, a vet here. So I'd be interested to know, does those patterns, do you sync up to like, because in my head, when I beatbox, there's a template, that I, or at least two or three templates that I throw them on my head, yeah. and I mix and match, and da, da, da. like you've obviously, you know, you've done your 10,000 hours, you've crafted and you've refined this thing, and, and it's, rightfully so, you own some signature, you know. Signature uh, moves, yeah. 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 So after a while. So people like, know your flavor. Yeah, yeah, they know your flavor. They right. know that you're. You, you, They'd be offended if if they went to a show and didn't see you do it. Do you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, so with that in mind, you must fall into certain rhythms or habits that are incorporated within these template template structures. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, well, basically, it becomes a natural thing. You don't you don't pre plan it. You don't like say like mm. it becomes embedded in you, mm -hmm. so you know like any like someone said to me, "Can you dance to this?" And I was like, "Fuck, I can dance to ballet." Mm -hmm. Put it on, like God, that's yeah. sick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like put any like you could beatbox to ballet, right? All day, right? It becomes such like you've nurtured yourself so like good to say that you can fucking ride anything. Do you know what I mean? And it becomes. <laughs> It becomes like a, a natural instinct, like a lion going for a prey that we don't need to think. Yeah, it's just yeah. reacting the word. Exactly, like and word. and you know the change, you know the change, and you know the rhythm, you know the beat mm -hmm. before it's happened. Mm. So your instincts, like it's like practicing, like when you practice and you make moves up, you don't make moves up to make the move up. You make moves up on your feeling of making a move up. If that makes mm, sense. Yes, absolutely, I get right. it. You know what I mean? Like, of course I do. Right. So, that is that's a natural it becomes a natural like a feeling of movement mm. so you you don't you're not thinking no more actors like like look at denzel washington man yeah yeah he's he doesn't think yeah, no no it's just it's almost like can you do it and before you said the word it yeah. you're in it yeah right what is your turn turnaround time for something like that curiously because i'm wondering if you you go into any club right which is this is kind of standard stuff i'm sure from any break breaker when they because i think that's what also the punters want to know it's like what so you can just do it anywhere but what's your turnaround time in your head the what's how quick is the switch to flick and go like no i'm jumping in there because i don't agree with his style and i'm gonna go fucking have him um <laughs> I, I, yeah i get that do right I mean? right that that's all down to the beat to tell you the truth okay like you you could have such a like you could have a, a dope ass fucking beat right but the person that's breaking on that beat is not doing what you want to do to that <laughs> beat <laughs> right, right? so there, there, there's a there's a moment of like change of you can turn around and say well fuck him let yeah. me show mm -hmm. or you're saying let me show people mm -hmm. how it's supposed to be done mm -hmm. to this beat so again it's it's like a it's like an, an instinct movement or an instinct that mm. happens within you and you, you you go, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I wouldn't want to be in front of anyone. <laughs> fucking pervers comes in the room. Dude, I think actually I, I, I could... No, I am right. Concord 2, Brighton, you guys were down there. I, I almost... Knowledge yourself era. I'm almost certain. And also Scala, Scratch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Magna Traction, which yeah. then became Deck Effects and mm, mm. things like this. These these eras, man, like, sometimes you wouldn't even, you know, there's obviously a break dancing going on, but then all of a sudden you see the shadows of the yeah, <laughs> yeah. jumping in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. there was a, there, I think every, every, every kind of like time and space had its, had its moments, you know what I mean? Like 80s, like, you know, these are discussions we have. Like, do do you still dress with a you know and walk the walk like we did in the eighties? Is it, the times different? Time is different, and the age is different as well. So you know, I mean the night. I had fun in the nights, bro. Yeah, I had mad fun in the nights. Yeah, because let's just re up for a second and remind ourselves that you live to break, and a small handful of others held the flag of break dancing when that shit was not deemed. Uh, excusable in a club, cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. in the same way beatboxing was labelled that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You held the fucking flag, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, held yeah. it. Thank you, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Without question. So, yeah, I bet the 90s was just like a huge playground of like, yo, I'm, it's just us. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Well, it went out around about 87. Like, it, yeah. I remember, like, I remember it fading. Like, people started dropping off. Um depressing moments for everyone you know mm. and then people were like me and um 
I heard people were around. I I I never saw, but I know Second to None was around oh, still. Hold tight. Second to None, absolutely. Yeah, they were they were definitely around. They were still doing their thing. Of my mind, yeah. But there wasn't a scene for it, no. so there was like a pocket of us. Like it was weird though because we stayed underground. Like me and King Beef, King Breaker from London All Stars, we 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 carried London on. London All Stars, man. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So there, we we stayed with we stayed there until the nineties, and King kind of like dropped out, and mm. then I just carried on. Like mm. I just carried on going, bro. I just I just didn't feel like I wanted to stop. We used to go to Hanover Ground. You know, remember Han- Hanover cool, Ground? Cool, that rings huge. Yeah, right. The we went the day, there. Yeah. We used to go there and get down, right, and fucking get laughed at, man. Seriously. Even like we used to go to um, uh, Wag Club, yeah, and and the Wag Club changed, and people were like, "Bro, man, this shit is is mm. gone, man." R and B came in and just wiped it, and then came drum and bass, which right, had its yeah. life as well in breaking. But yeah. then garage kind of just like dominated through the early noughties. It yeah. was kind of the uh, new hip hop era, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what kept you going? <laughs> Me. Really? Yeah. Just knew that this, this was one road, this is you. I fucking didn't name me Live to Break. Mm. I was in a crew that just, I loved the crew, man. I loved I loved the name. I want to represent. I want to hold it up. But I think it was me as well. It was just, just me and something about me. I just felt like I still wanted to do it. Mm. I still had it in me. I, I, you know, I had the passion. I had the love for it still. Mm. I didn't give a I didn't give a shit. Even like when the when the night when nineties when people started coming back into breaking. Because yeah, you were there was an up up spike of like trend, wasn't there? The backpacker time. era of hip hop was big like, time, yeah, bro. Big time. Bag, yeah. I I was in jams, mm. my man. I was in jams, and I remember people taking their shoes and like their shoes off mm. and trying to do like flares and stuff, like breaking and stretching in in clubs. And I was like, what the fuck is happening, man? Like if you stretched in a club in in the eighties, they'll 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 Cuss you, man! Like, like <laughs> you know, it's not yeah, gymnastics. You know, it's it's a culture behind this, and and I I went through the decades or the eras, man, and and saw saw it change. I saw it literally go from the ground to going up in the mm-hmm. air, from from like staying on the floor and then just just going to another. I mean, it's crazy what they're doing now. Yeah, like, come on, man. But that, of its time, that must have been just like you. Waiting for the surf to come back out, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then back in and you just go, oh, grab the boards, we're going it. Yeah. You know what I mean? The late nineties, which is of course where my career kind of took shape. That late nineties, and again, super informative to me, you know, you know, rock steady wouldn't have happened, scratch perverts wouldn't have happened mm. if it wasn't for the likes of you guys, like sitting there me watching it. To me, it was like you guys were just already built from when I see you guys doing your thing, it was like, well they were of course they're there. They've always been there. They were in Represent Magazine. They were in Hip Hop Connection. They were in their magazines. Of yeah. course they're going to be here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I guess from your side, it's like, well, you know, there was these, you know, the journey's long. You know, you know the, the thing with Live to Break as well was, I, the, the reason why I loved them so much as a, as a crew was because we was, we was diverse, but we was also, we tried to be as raw as possible. We would break in the streets. We would practice in Charing Cross. We we would you know. We would re- try to represent the culture as much as we could. Mm. We lived it, mm. you know what I mean. And there were certain things that we wouldn't do. We wouldn't do certain shows because we'd think, "Oh, that's whack." But you're gonna get paid 150 pound each, bro. But we was like, "But that's whack." Mm. Like even electric ballroom, like when we electro rock, we oh, we what, back in the eighties. What you we didn't go, do it. You didn't do it now. We didn't do it mm, purposely. Interesting. Why is that? We we had we the story goes that we had some some bullshit with with the promoters. Mm. Um, also, we didn't do it because we 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 felt like we didn't want to be on stage doing this shit. It was weird, bro. It was like really kid mentality and trying to keep it underground and raw. And mm. it was just like this is gonna like 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 make it like televised and. Yeah. It was weird, bro. Mm-hmm. But so, well, we got Live to Pop to do it. Mm-hmm. Live mm-hmm. to Pop did it, and then you see little Wiz breaking with the, mm-hmm. with the two poppers, and they ended up doing it. And we just we we kind of flipped out. B boys to me, they they epitomise the the front line of of uh, uh, moral values within hip hop, without question. 
And I often question it because, as you know, as I'm sure with age you have as well, because like you say, you know, there's these moments of kind of blips where you're just like, hmm, could I have done that, could I have done that? I had T-Kid on, for instance, you know, he was on the podcast, and I said, dude, how come you weren't on Style Wars? And he goes, for the reason why I'm on your podcast now, sir. And I was like, why is that? He goes, because uh, I never got famous. I never ended up being on Star Wars, so mm. now I'm making up for it. And it's interesting that, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty, isn't it? But yeah. uh, I don't know, man. Do you reckon, is there anything that you may have missed in the past where you've just been like, yeah, maybe I was a bit too hip-hop for that. I should have done it. Loads. Yeah. Loads. Like, even, like, in the 90s, I, I, I remember me... I, I, was on an, I was in an agency, and I went to do um, George Michael's video. Oh, nice. And and it was one of his probably last ones. I can't even remember the track. It had rain in it and some shit like that. Mm-hmm. But King ended up getting it. Mm-hmm. But when we went for the went for the, the casting, I was f- fucking around because I didn't want it. And I knew, like, my boy King loves that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And he got it. And he was, like, getting paid, like, for £500. And, uh, That's like, beautiful, yeah. F- for a few hours That's every great. day. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I was, like, selective, like... I did, uh, we did Beverly, Bev, um, is it Beverly Night? Yeah. Yeah, we wicked. did Beverly Night, a flavour of the old school. Yeah, I'll pick up that, Beverly as well. That, yeah, awesome. yeah, that made sense. Yeah, she's yeah. cool, she's yeah, so yeah. cool. That made sense to me because it was flavour of the old school. Mm. So I did it. Yeah, makes sense. Right. But there's certain things I, I kind of blocked out, like Dr. Album mm. was, was oh, shit. right. But King toured with him. We both were supposed to do that. I flaked out. Yo! I really? didn't want to do it. Really? Yeah, no, I didn't want to do it. Ask King. I didn't want to do it. I, I just like, I didn't want to do tap backs. I was like, <laughs> I don't want to do it, bro. I was like, there's certain things I just, I just didn't want to go there. I just was like, it's not the money, man. It's, it's like years to come mm-hmm. and I'm still breaking. They're like, oh, bro, you did that tap backs advert. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hey, you're right. Yeah, and let's, let's remind ourselves. I mean, you know, you're talking to the fruit pastels kid, do you know what I mean? I did that thing, do you know what I mean? Like, so what it is though, and I feel like uh, it was of a time where something like that, and it still applies to a lot of corporate stuff now, to be fair. It's like, yeah. there's got to be a real deep thing because like, what, I do a McDonald's thing or I do a fucking Costa thing? I yeah, don't yeah, know, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On principle, yeah. you've got to ask yourselves, because back in the day, there would have been a straight no because you know the damage they're doing. Right, but right. Not, not the right. damage they've done. Like now but it's, it's personal different. as well, right? It's personal, yeah. It's personal. Like, yeah. But you've got to think of who you are and what mm. where you are in your life. Also, whether you needed money at that time as True. well. True. Come on, man, let's be real. Yeah. At that time, you yeah. could have been a broadcast, and I'd be like, boy, I, I need the money. Go get it. Yeah. yeah. So I understand that. But, you yeah. know, it's it's mm. like there's certain things that I just felt. And it worked well for me. It kind of mm. like, um, it kind of worked cool, man, because mm. there's there's things we've done also. I remember we done, what's that guy who, who, who does that? Humpty Dumpty. Oh, uh, 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 did you? Some, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we done Top Humpty of the Pops with yeah. it. And it was weird because me and Billy, Billy Business. Me Big up Billy. Uh, yeah. Yo. Free and Bills was dancing then as well. And Flexi as well. Yeah, you can lose too. Like, right, yeah. yeah. So we was we was kind of like breaking and, and, and dancing, hip hop dancing at the time. And when we did Top of the Pops, we wanted to break. And we said, can we get down on the floor? And he was like, no, this is hip hop. You can't get down on the floor. You need to stay up and you need to dance. And we, 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 we danced. He wouldn't let us get down on the floor. No way. I swear down. I swear. That just blew my mind. That really went down yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Ask Billy. Is this is this is live, bro? There's no bullshit here, bro. I'm oh. telling you all the shit that we went through and the things that we kind of like the journey, man. Mm. This is this is what it was. This is the journey, and this is the journey of a b-boy. Let's take it right back, my brother. Let's take it back to the eighties. Let's take it back to Covent Garden. Let's take it back to these places. <laughs> Everyone takes it back to Covent. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I tell you, let's take it back to Charing Cross. Let's take it back to the underground station where the real action happened. Because Covent Garden was nice, but let's go to the Charing. Let's go to the. Let's go into the to the undergrounds, the under depths. Okay, Charing Cross. Basically, next to Charing Cross was uh, a place called the Centre for Homeless People. Mm-hmm. There was a guy there called uh, Big Pete who actually ran the place. Some of the guys approached him. It was our spot for practice. So there was there was two floors in there. There was a ground floor. I think there were three floors in there. Mm. And we'd go and break and practice on every floor, sometimes separately or together. Mm. Charing Cross was literally like, you come out centre and it was like the stairs were right there. We made it like a practice place for us. 
That's where the real action was right. happening, right? And it was it was crazy there because uh, King used to come down there. He used to practice more with us than he would with, with, with all stars. So he would practice with really, us a lot. yeah, yeah, yeah. King was down with Live to Break. Um, you, you had um, you know Little Lee, Scotty. Um, you'd have uh, Little Wiz come down. So there was a lot of lot of heads that would come mm-hmm. down. Gazelle. Mad. Um, Doc would come down sometimes, so people knew that that was our that was our place. Mm. Um, there was times where people would come through. You'd have to battle your way to get to the other side. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. We used to stop people, and you can't walk through it, man. You need to battle and then go about your business. <sighs> yeah, that's how we, we did it. Like beat street style. Yo, <laughs> beat street style. That sounds intense as fuck. Yeah, yeah. but you, we, you gotta remember, bro. We were kids. <laughs> Yeah. And everything that we saw, we mimicked. We wanted to be the the, the New York City breakers, the rock steady, the dynamic rockers, the mm. dynamic break. We wanted to, you know, these are the people that we looked up to. Mm. And we, we wanted to, you know, have have that. Mm. What's peak time at that time? So I'm really getting into the, because I want to know it. I want to know the DNA of that time. What time did you show up there and what time did you finish? Oh, it was like, we'd, we'd go in the morning, in, in whenever, like mm. 10, 11. 10. It, oh, yeah. it varied, varied. Sometimes, it, you know, one, two, it depends. You just get your money together, little bus pass, train pass. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we'd bump the trains mostly. Mm-hmm. And then you just go down and you spend the whole day, man. You'd have your little money for McDonald's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you'd stay there, man. And until well, it, Always been played, breaks, electro. Everything. 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 Even the new pop stuff. stuff pop, but we'd, yeah. we'd dance to disco. Yeah. Um, David Bowie, mm-hmm. with, with anything, rock. Mm-hmm. Rock with a beat. Anything, yeah, 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 I get you. Electro mo- mo- and mostly breaks. Remember, we had a DJ as well. So we had we was around cut Yeah, so you were all right. Yeah, that's right. Cosmic Jam yeah. was our DJ. So he, that's you know, huge. He'd, yeah. be hang, he'd be digging for the breaks. So you had the deck set up as well? No, we didn't. I was gonna we say, didn't. We didn't. We just, just had we had boombox. So he'd mixed it and then put it on tape yeah. and you're away. Oh, shit. That's just a dream, isn't it? Um, t- talk to me about uh, the congestion, the amount of people that were in the space at any one given time. Because you did say, you know, you, you can't just walk through. You've got to be thrown down. But was it was it a threat to the public? Was it a bit intense? Was it the kind of thing that security or the, the you know, the crook law would come and try and intervene? Um, no, mostly it was pretty cool. But, but where Charing Cross is, if you come in from the centre side, it's a long runway and then it turns to the left and then you, you walk straight down. It's got a bigger area mm. and then you've got the, the barriers. Mm. So we will stay in that long stretch. So you wouldn't really get disturbed. Like not many people will walk through there. Mm. I think people knew that there were kids there so they wouldn't walk through there. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they know and the odd people will go through there. But it was pretty calm. Mm. And to tell you the truth, we, 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 had, we had morals in and ethics, and, mm. and we understood. We, we wasn't thieves. <laughs> you wouldn't go around, like, just robbing people. Do you no. know what I'm saying? It was yeah. just like we, we, we had respect. Mm. Like, most of us were, like, we were brought up, man. Mm. Like, yeah, totally. You know, totally. Your parents would tell you, like, you know, right from wrong. So, yeah. you know, we, 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 were good, we were good kids. I mean, we, we were surrounded, like, some ransom. With some some naughty kids. They've not been on this podcast. <laughs> not, not, not one of them. <laughs> like, but you got to remember, bro. Like, what it is is, killer. What it is is, you got to understand is like, there were there were b boys. Mm. Then there was uh, b boys, b girls. Very few b girls. Then you had people that were just hang hanging out. Mm. And then you had people that you would call them like um, blockers. Yeah, we call them blockers. So what blockers? Blockers then? are just people that just. Block. Blocked away. Just block, just stand around. Call them blockers. Mm. In a good way or a bad way? You want them doing something. Good so, and right? bad. Yeah. Good and bad. Blockers were not, they're neither breakers, they're not, they weren't writers, mm. they weren't, they weren't beatbox, they were nothing. They're just, just hanging out. Just fanatics. Yeah, just, they're just, yeah. They're, and they liked, they liked, and some of them or most of them were older than us as well. Interesting. Yeah, so they, they were kind of like, you know, there was people that, that were actual fighters. That, that were, were going to watch the people, well, like yeah, yeah, Capoeira yeah, yeah. or yeah. N- 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 yeah. Jiu Jitsu, and then protect us. Like they That's knew cold. that. They were, I mean, even in my area, like people knew, like you could go places and say, "Oh man, he's he's cool. He's a he's a break dancer." And I don't mm. even use break dancing mm. as a word, but they say, "Oh, he's a break dancer. Let him through." 
So they knew you was breaking. They knew you was a mm. b-boy. So you would get a bly because you're, you were famous. Fucking rock star shit. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Step yeah, into yeah. the octagon, you're a rock star. <laughs> but you, you, even jams, like when you used to go to jams, we never paid to get in. They wanted us in their jams. It's yeah. like lift to break. We want all stars in there. We want, we yeah. want second to none in there. We want, you know, we want Wolverhampton B boys, yeah, Broken yeah. Glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come Manchester on, man, City. Rock City crew. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. you, you were, f you were somewhat uh, famous. Then, mm, of course. I don't know. Uh, just gonna pluck some names: Dolby D, Scam, Danny Price. Um, I, what, who were who were the main contenders that were in the the, the octagon of the time? Like, give me some give me some battle stories. What, what went down? <laughs> there was loads, bro. There were loads. <laughs> I mean, you know what? The, the the reality is that you can't. I I never said I've I've never ever kind of like said like you know one person was the best, mm. even though I have said it. Mm -hmm. To me, Hallett was like Ooh. was was my ultimate yeah, Rory's all rounder b boy. Yeah. But Batman everyone Alec. claims everyone claims the crown, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, that's that's the that's the that's the that's the life of a, of a b boy, right? So everyone wants wanted to be the best or wanted to, mm -hmm. but everyone had their distinctive like character and flavor. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't I wouldn't pinpoint and say yeah. he he's the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. It's a very shaky ground. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to say. And I'm not afraid to say it, but I'm, I'm saying it now. Like, mm. for me, Hallett was, was ultimately mm. the... the, the was a, when, when Hallett came in the jam, mm. you, you know he's fucking there, man. Some yeah. people just have that flamboyancy. It's a gift. You know he even mean? looked like a fucking people. He looked yeah. like a character, grow, like, drawn out. That's cool. Like, on a, on, a, on, on, a, on a wall, bro. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. It, it, he had the jaw and everything. Mm. God, the head shape. <laughs> God, that's cool. When you put on a can and go, like, you, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? First impressions last, don't they? Yeah. It's, exactly. Day. Exactly. But um, battle-wise, there, there was so many battles, man. I mean, I, I can't... I, the, the day I got into Covent was, was eight, like, mid, like, 83, or beginning of 83. I battled straight away as soon as I went down there. I battled a guy called Ferguson, and it was on. And you knew that it was a common thing to do. That's the only way you get in your name. It's that fighting, man. But how do you get to that point? Where, all right, so, okay, so you get thrown into to the, the ring uh, just by showing, just by default of being there, which is obviously like a shitstorm in itself. But when you're practising and working some things out and you say to yourself, right, I'm going to go down there. And show, to a lot of people that don't know how to begin breakdancing, <laughs> like me, like... <laughs> I thought you probably you know, <laughs> break a lot of things, trust me. <laughs> um, but how do you get to that point where, because you, you've got to look in the mirror in the first place, but you can't look in the mirror at what you're doing and how stylish you look because you're doing the move. Mm. And back then there wasn't like this, oh yeah, stick your phone here. It wasn't mm, that, was mm, it? No, no, not so at all. So how did you get to the point where you felt you'd owned, earned enough style that you were able to convey that in a, in a performance? You didn't. Bonkers. Yeah, you didn't. The idea was that any form of footage you'd get hold of or you saw, and remember then was basic, bro. Mm. So you'll know, okay, the basic stuff is footwork, freezes, uh, backspin, windmill. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little head gliding now. Right. right. That was the mm. basics. Mm. Then you, you kind of, like, that's why it's so, like, it's sad and it's interesting, like, to give props to the people that have, the generations that have come mm. before you, man. Like, mm. you, if it weren't for these people, right, you wouldn't be here, man. For real, I don't for real. give a shit. Like, yeah. none of you guys would be here. Mm. No one, wherever you are, Red Bull, wherever mm. you're doing your thing, you wouldn't be wouldn't here. Be give it to them, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Give and it to, take give the flowers, man. It's so important. Right, man. right. So yeah. the idea was that you'd 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 find a a, a move. And then you would create something around that move to extend that move so it becomes like a chain. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is, I don't know how, I can't even explain it to you, but it was a natural thing to know when I freestyle to when I do an a cappella or, mm -hmm. or a set, right? Mm -hmm. So there, you know the difference of that. So what you do is when you, before you go into war, you knew like, okay, I've got five sets, that I'm going to keep in my pocket. Cold. Sets. Yes. Right. And then I've got freestyles. And there's a chain within that where right. you diversify right. each thing. And exactly. 
So what you do is like, according to who you're battling mm-hmm. or how you're fighting this individual, me, I, I'm a stamina person. So I got, thank God, even to this day, I've got heaps of stamina. Mm-hmm. So what I do is I freestyle for an hour. And, and then, then suddenly find the chain and you're in. Right. And then I throw in mm-hmm. like my sets and then I go to freestyle and sets. Sick. And freestyle. Right. That's how, you, that's how you know. But it becomes after... When, when you're there, when you're young as well, you got stamina anyway. But yeah, yeah. years later, you understand how to control that. Wow! Right? Do you understand? Yeah, so yeah. That was the method back then. But that was my method anyway. I don't know how everyone else. Because a lot of time is like the reality is is okay. Even now, right? Okay, if you're gonna jam in a cipher with me, right? Can you jam an hour l- later with the same pace and the same level? As you did an hour ago, or are you gonna run out of moves? Right? Now we're talking now, we're not just talking about breaking it, we're talking about MCing, mm-hmm. we're talking about beatboxing, we're talking about Oh, you got me thinking. Straight up, you right. got me thinking. This this is this is the when you think of it as an art, mm. how how good at your sh- at your shit are you? It's funny you say this because about maybe six months ago I was down at Trellick. Just down the road here, Trelly mm. Tower, Graffiti Hall of Fame. And they had a breakdancing thing going on there. And the organiser turned around and he goes, Oh, Kel, can you come beatbox for the guys? And I'm like, My first thought was, Yeah, I'll do that. But then I did give it some consideration because the last time I beatboxed for you guys, right? Because it's one thing having one of you guys doing it for like, you know, 16 bars yeah, you know, yeah, or yeah, so. Yeah. And it's like, Yeah, that was yeah. fun. But no, no, no. Because as soon as there's a beatboxer doing it, yeah. there's like this, this two guys for 25 in. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I had to be ready. So that stamina definitely comes into play when you're in the octagon. And mm. stepping into a thing like that, your stamina is, it's, it's crucial, mm. isn't it? You're like, you, it's almost like get that level up before you even get into. Signature moves, definitely, definitely. But also, what it is as well is that you have to understand when you're when you're when you're in a cipher, when you're in a circle, there's other people going in. Mm. Now, my my thing was this was when I when I even when I practice when I practice and I go and throw down, I come back. I used to time myself how fast my recovery is. Ooh, I used that's to do that. Sick. Right. Yeah. I, and I and how I quick still. Was it? How was it? How quick? I'm my. I'm, but just my stamina is good, so my recovery is quick. The reason being is is to have a breathing pattern when you're breaking. If you hold your breath and go down, it's a problem. You're you're you're, you're fucked. Yeah. Basically. Stitches. Yeah. Uh, pain. <laughs> suffering. Whatever pain. Long term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Long term pain. The extra pain. <laughs> Internal pain. <laughs> right. Right. You know what I mean. Yeah. And the minute you're tired. You're weak. You're, you're, weak. you're, exactly. d- you're done. And, you know, someone's going to eat you up. That's how it is. God, that's good. Yeah, so that, that was the idea. The idea was like, you know, how, how quick... When you was talking about that mm. and beatboxing mm. for 25 minutes, it extended it. But when someone's going in and out and there's five, six, seven people going in... Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. The idea is how fast can I recover? See, there's another, there's another opponent here now. Because if you've got seven, eight people, right, going in one circle... Mm. If your recovery is faster, you be getting more than him. That's right. Right. It's true. So then you're seen more. Mm. So you're literally taking out seven guys or eight guys that are going in that side. Floor. Why? Because you're shining more than them. Mm. Because of your stamina and your fitness and your recovery level. Damn. It's 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 what well, in the micro. So this is we're not talking about recovery level after three hours of break. You're talking about on off yeah. recover. On right. off. Yeah, recover. exactly. Jeez. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like like a small burst. Are you timing it based on the number of people that are going in whilst you're on recovery time? Are you basing it on that? Sometimes number? you can. That's Sometimes mad. you can. Because if 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 someone goes in and I and I go in after that person, because even in battling, you're you're battling indirectly. Mm. You're not having a direct battle with mm. someone. Even though you're they know like he this oh shit, this guy keeps coming out after me. But he doesn't want to battle you. Psychological war right, that is. Right. So that happens, right? So that shit happens Fucking as well. Them up. So wow. yeah, it, it, yeah. there's a lot. There's a lot of shit when you understand, like when you go deep into the the art. Mm. It, it you know, and 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 the stuff it comes from kung fu, right? It does, yeah. I love that, right? Yeah. Um, there's a. I think with every hip hop discipline, sure, and, and I'll yeah, yeah, sure, and I'll I'll, I'll um, also add drum and bass into the the mix because of the production value. I think 
certainly with graffiti, there's a serotonin thing that happens. There's an endorphin. There's stuff that happens that feeds an ego, feeds the the, the need for doing something. Mm. ADHD, ADHD, OCD, mm, do it well, again. Yeah. That is definitely prevalent in breakdancing, isn't it? Yeah. In a big yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. Like, Could be. It's like judo, you know, kung fu. It's like going to the gym. Like, that becomes an addictive... It has an addictive quality once you get into the... You're feeding the machine, aren't you? Yeah, but that... that I think... <laughs> weightlifting, I think... I find it a little bit different because it becomes... Can we use the word ego? Yeah. Does your ego come into it? It certainly does. And in yeah. these categories. It has to, things. yeah. I think it has to, yeah. Of course. Yeah. It's about winning, right? Yeah. Yeah. So your e it's your ego, man. Yeah. Nobody wants to lose a battle, right? No. <laughs> Go on crying, <laughs> sucking your thumb. No, thank you. <laughs> right? Yeah. So yeah. it's it becomes an ego thing, man. Mm. It's like I, I'm not I'm not backing down. Mm. Unless you've got no choice. Mm. And you're fucked. It's like a fight, man. Does that ego uh, tame itself as you get older? Absolutely. Yeah. It humbles you, man. Does it? Yeah. Some people don't, though. Some people, I think it's a realisation within oneself yeah. to think like... Mortality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To know that you're a human, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a hip replacement. I've had I've had surgery on my shoulder. My cartilage ligament went, and it went didn't it didn't happen through breaking. Mm -hmm. It just happened through some. I lifted up a, ke a kettlebell. Oh right, that, that, that's gonna. I was do it, yeah. actually messing around with the kettlebell, bro, and I lifted it up, and I was like, oh shit, what was that? Oh, I whacked shit. it up like that, and I was like, what's that pain, man? And I left it, and I carried on breaking until it just wore its way out. Okay. And then I had to get I had to get a keel on it. Oh shit. Yeah, but the honest mm. truth is, the best thing I've done. Yeah. They just removed everything, cleaned it up, and it's stronger than my arm. That's brilliant. There you yeah. go. Every cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is things that that do, like you said, you, you're human, man. Yeah, you question so, your immortality for sure. Yeah. Don't you? So you know, you you go when you get older, and you 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 kind of like you have a new surgery or your hip or whatever, and you you just realize, man. I surprise myself sometimes. I'm just like. Shit, I'm still doing this, man. I'm mm. going to hit, like, I'm 54 in, in this, this June. My guy, come on. <laughs> Survivor, yeah, man. Uh, um, and, and rightly so, to keep going with a, with a legacy, because that's what it, it, it slowly comes, it becomes this legacy that you're holding. Mm. And uh, it kind of reminds me of skateboarding, certainly with beatboxing, uh, graffiti to a, to, a, to a more greater extent of, you know, hitting trains and track sides or... You know, there, there is a, there's a shelf life and you just keep on keeping on, don't you? And you figure out new ways of thinking things through, which mm, is in itself definitely. a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah, there's certain things that you just uh, you just don't apply yourself to, right? It's just, well, yeah. I, can, I could do and I, you know I could, yeah. but I just ain't gonna. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I think also it's who are you doing it for? True. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. if you know, like, like, I'm, it's, I don't know, man, it's like, when you know you're doing it for yourself, mm. you enjoy it. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're doing it to get something, a, like, yeah, we, look, man, shit. Bro, we all want to get paid. Yeah, yeah. Like, nobody can tell me, oh, man, I've done it all these years. Mm. Of course, mm. every, every person wants to get paid, bro. And some sort of incentive. Anything. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, for sure. Appreciation, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I like, wait there, this guy's been in the game for like, 40 years. Mm. He ain't getting paid. Mm. It's just sad, man. Mm -hmm. But you also need something else in your life mm. other than this. I did Thai for 11 years. Thai, I used to be? fight. Yeah, I used to, I used to do Thai. Wow. Me, and, me and Billy business. Billy, me and Billy used to go to the same gym. Cobra gym. Tim Isley. Shout out, Tim. Mm. If you ever watch this. <laughs> He'll be there. Comment below. Everyone comment below. Yeah. Anything you got Cobra. to say, comment below. <laughs> so I did Thai and I used to fight. Compete. I used to fight and compete. Wow. And then it got to the stage when I used to break. I used to literally go into Victoria, mm. Queen Mother. Mm -hmm. That's where his gym was. And uh, I used to get down in there, bro. And my, my, my trainer used to look at me like, hey, what are you doing, man? Mm -hmm. And then, then it got, when I started fighting, I, I, 
Never lost a fight, by the way. Oh, tight. <laughs> Talk that shit. Billy knows, Billy knows. Billy's seen Any my fights. Any of the best on the podcast? Come on. <laughs> but it, it was like, are you going to break or are you going to tie? Mm. And I was like, I'm going to break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I walked away. Really? That yeah, was yeah, it? Yeah, Because yeah. <gasps> you said you're going you're gonna to get hurt, man. You're going to... Something's going to happen right. and it will it said, impact on one, your... Pick yeah. one or the other. Yo, you know what as well? Because I've been told about this. Because, you know, I've had these moments of, you know what? You know, I'm not getting any younger. I might just do this. But it's really a bad idea because your mm. constitution is built in a certain way. Mm. And the moment you throw an extra special thing in there yeah, that yeah, might yeah, impact yeah. your health or... Yeah, change everything. Fucks your shit up. Yeah, you know what it I mean? changes everything. Yeah. got to stick to what you know. Yeah, yeah. And, be, and try to be the best at it. Mm. But this is what we were talking about, like... Like when you when you love something and enjoy it so much, you do it with such passion. Mm. That that's the drive that keeps you going. Yeah. That's why when I spoke spoke about K K one, big shout out to K one, my brother yeah, K yeah, yeah. from on. New York, legend. Right now he he recently I I I texted him. We was we was text. He always sends me stuff. And we always rapping. Honestly, fucking amazing guy. And mad. I'm not just saying it's because yeah. I'm on it. He's he's very he's um he's got. Fucking a lot of knowledge, bro. Crazy. Right. And and his advice is is he's not fake with it. You know, and you know, like sometimes you know when someone's talking to you, you can like, oh man. Nah, you're, it's from the you're heart. Chatting a bit of shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this guy's straight up. And I was like, when do you know? And he was like, know what? And he was like, I said, when do you know when it's done? And he said, you are know. You know, you, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it like. Short. Yeah, you keep it like that, will you? You didn't start talking <laughs> he, all that business he, around he, here. He was like, you're not, and then he went in deep, bro. Like he went in, like you, you're feeling your body, your mind, wow. like everything. Tell there's things that would tell you if you go and do something, a particular thing, and you're not feeling it, or you're not feeling a particular way at that moment. That's fine, but if it's consistent, it's done. Like, don't let it happen, like, consistently all the time. Well, like, run the risk of an accident happening, almost. Yeah. To that fear right. factor. Right. Because of, just because of your own constitution, what you've, the impact that it might yeah. have. Yeah. And don't fear, don't fear the stop. Mm. Yeah. Embrace the Embrace stop. Embrace the stop. Right? Yeah. Because we are going to stop. Me and Paul won, right, we, we, uh, years, a few years ago. Before the pandemic, we went to Just for Rockets mm. um, in Paris, and, and we were sitting there, and we was like, he had a funny knee, and my hip was hurting. That time. I didn't, I didn't, have, I didn't have my a hip replacement then. And he was like, we were sitting literally next to each other, and he was like, you know, we're gonna stop. And he goes, bro, I'm gonna cry. And I said, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna cry as well. But the reality wasn't that we're gonna stop. The reality is like, you are definitely gonna stop one day. Mm. When is that stop? Mm. Do I think about it? I don't. I don't you don't know. think, man, I don't know about... Because, you know, we all have these moments, you mm. know what I mean? Mm. Like, there's a lot of young people out here that mm. are going to be watching this now. Mm. And, you know, life is just one big fucking distance of just awesome. And it c continues to be. Mm. The thought of stopping and doing something you love to anybody, I think, is like, yo... Inevitable, but a huge heart pull. Mm. You must get this fairly frequently, as most creative people do. Mm. Even course, if you're course, young, even course, if you're young, you get course. these moments of like, fuck this shit. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone gets it. Yeah. But that's the journey, bro. Mm. And you have to realize within yourself that is your journey. Because mm. doubt, right? The doubt helps you get stronger. Mm. For me. Mm. Yeah, so you have mm. every hurdle, every there's no there's no smooth ride here. If or else everyone will be doing, everyone right. will be king, everyone exactly. will be a legend. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the and the reality is that the social media and what you see in there, like you see these people, they didn't get there without that. Mm. That that you have to have the struggle there, man. Mm. And you have to keep the struggle there. Yeah. If you don't have struggling, you don't have the tension, you don't have that 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 that, that doubt. What's life What's about? What's doing it? For? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because exactly. social media, especially in this, this day and age, is is um, it should be an addition. And I think b boying, b girling, I think that they, they, they hold a crown to, well, 
you can't just rely on a picture or a video. You've actually got to be really fucking above par. You've got to be really good. Mm. You got Well, you've at least got to practice. You mm. can't... There's no luck in, you know, a no, great video. No, it's all to do with practice. Yeah. Everything's to do with practice. Yeah. But my advice to, to, to people is that everyone that comes up, they, I mean, look, we say it as well, we saw people doing it and we picked it up. Mm. But to learn something now, it's, it's much easier mm. because it's not a piece. It's a whole fucking picture. Mm. Mm. It's not a piece of a picture. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And to, be, to, to understand and be yourself... That is that is the the goal, man. Yeah, the goal is that being in be different from the rest. That's how you're gonna. That's how you're gonna keep going. Because mm. I've seen so many people come and go in this game. Yeah, where are they? Mm. Why are you still breaking no more? Because mm. they've never understood themselves. Right. Yeah. Understand yeah. yourself. Be comfortable with yourself. Know who you are. I don't want to be you, bro. I don't want to beatbox. It's fucking pervert. <laughs> what do you think it was, son? Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I don't want to be, you know, you don't want to break. You, you're you comfortable yeah, yeah, with yeah. who you are and what yeah, you yeah. want to do. That's, that's, that's wisdom of age, though. There's a new generation of, of um, B-boys and B-girls that are coming into the fold now with the, the focus very much on the new arena that's, that's in front of them. Uh, there'll be a lot of amazing, like, identifiable, charismatic individuals that will suddenly... You know when, like, a scene first comes, a scene first flourishes and mm. you never forget those identities? Right. This will be performed on a grand scale. And uh, uh, I think the most exciting element to that is watching uh, these these new personalities mm, mm, mm. Could suddenly come out of nowhere. It's just mm. like, yo, where did this come from? Right, right. Nothing short of what we've seen for yeah. the last, you know, God knows yeah, how long. Yeah. But it's quite, ni- it's quite nice to suddenly see the characters come mm. to life in, yeah. in, in, in a major arena, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, definitely. But, it's, but you, we've got to understand as well that people that, that see this and come into it, it's new to them. Mm, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So the buzz they must be going through. It's crazy. Right. Yeah. But at the same time, try not to be what you're seeing. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. Try mm-hmm. to be you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, it, and it's good. Look, I, the Olympics, the Red Bulls and all that. I mean, I, I, I've, I kind of like the political side of this shit. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I kind of like heard and, and I don't get involved in it no more. Mm-hmm. I've been there. You know what I mean? But it's an incentive for these kids and the new generation coming up mm-hmm. to look for something mm-hmm. and look up to something or try to achieve something. Mm-hmm. To that level, right? For sure. We didn't have that shit in our time. No. So let's not knock that. No, it's a beautiful thing. Right. For real. Um, and circling him back around as well, because, you know, you frequented with some of the greats, man. Like, you mentioned Billy Business, you know, MC Mello, um, yeah. Prime. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Graffiti Writer Prime. And, you know, these are different facets of, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, with the event of like all these different genres that have flourished over the last 10 plus 20 plus years you know there will be some dipping of inspirations in all these different kind of subcultures and facets of hip-hop and the influences will come through you know I, I often see certain moves that even skateboarders make and I'm like yo try translating that into like mm. b-boy and I try you know I get inspired by breakdancers attitudes when it comes to beatboxing you know what I mean mm, yeah I'm, I'm I'm listening to you. I'm trying to. For me, a lot of things changed, bro. Mm. It, it's it's changed so much. It's like the the coach. For me, the coach is not as as it used to be. You know what I do mean? Do you like the founder? Do you like the? Because I think all of us stand by the the authenticity of uh, the scene. First, I do feel like there's a few code of conducts. There's rules. Absolutely, it has to be, bro. Or else you are you're. Blowing in the wind, aren't you? You are, but the, the, when you think of, of that generation, the 80s generation, or even the, the late the late 70s generation, when the, the, the originals going on to the 80s and then going on to the 90s, to now, like, yeah. you know, 
people people need and have to understand there has to be a start and a finish man mm. there has to be there has to be a you have to understand foundation mm. you you can't build nothing without foundation I feel that but 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 I think the new generation are starting their own era and foundation but that is questionable D- does that trouble you no not at all no it doesn't but I, it's funny like uh, uh, a few years back, it was, there was a debate going on and me and Legs kind of like went in. Mm. And the discussion was this, like the, 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 the understanding of what is foundation, mm. right? Now, foundation is not a, a move, right? Foundation is the mixture of the move, the character, the style and how it's done. Mm-hmm. That is foundation. It's not an actual chair freeze or, a, or, or an arch. Because mm. people think that's foundation movements. No, mm. it's the characteristics that you put mm. in and style you put in, in movements. Many have said this, mm-hmm. not just not just me. Now, the these kids when we was having this discussion was it's funny, isn't it? Back in the days, you'll do tops, footwork, freezes, and then you go into power moves mm-hmm. or air moves. Mm-hmm. Right? Now they do air moves, and they finish with f- footworks. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Right. They reversed it and let me and Legs was at it. And I was just like, bro, but they changed the system of way of breaking. Mm. There's a system that we have. It's a system in like Kung Fu. Mm -hmm. Does that system change? Question mark. So you went in with Legs on this? Yeah, we, this was a discussion that we, we and had, and was, I said they've changed it. And what was the outcome on this? Because I'm curious. Like. It, it, there wasn't. <laughs> there was, there, like, when you have discussions... That, <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It, it never, it never, it's never like... You, it's yeah. always... There's so many people going in, so uh, it's, there's yeah, yeah, never, yeah. there is never a lot. Them ones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, but... Billy from down the road's got an opinion. Come on, right, jump in, right, Bill. Right, right, right. <laughs> and then you'll always get that person... That, there's there's always that person who will say we don't need the old school. Mm. Fine, it's all good, bro. I don't need you. I understand that. You know what I mean. But the reality of it is that people have to understand. I'm not talking about me, bro. I'm talking mm. about the generations that started this shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Come yeah, on, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Dude, I get handed over nuggets of gold from Graph whenever I'm learning to do my pieces like someone says man you turn the can upside down i used to do that for the cracks on the rocks when you do i'm like yeah it's amazing you know these are traditions that are passed down that do not have i can't see the fault line i can't mm. see where that was first all i know is my mate just told me how to do it and sometimes we forget that that this doesn't just happen out of nowhere it's not just a given i think there's a level of um complacency mm. and short-sightedness that you get given something now it's yours you yeah, own it's yeah. mine now right you right, know right, and i'm right. gonna do it to the best and it becomes my thing it's like no because it comes from somewhere right that's, absolutely so that's where i'm ca- right. getting from you is I, I understand where you're coming from and how actually these are these are principles right right you know what i'm saying right yeah they're, they're principles bro yeah they're principles i mean look if you go in deep right like when you think about the culture and the art you got someone like Devious Dose, right? Mm-hmm. He's a writer. Mm-hmm. Before he was a b-boy, right? When, 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 they, when they draw, the letters and characters are shapes and style for movements. That's fucking deep, bro. Ooh. Right. That, sh- that shows you the... The, the, the full lines. And when you think about, right, when you think about a piece on a wall and someone, you know, breaking in front of it or the colours that are used. Yeah. Why do we use colours for, bro? For flavour. Flavour. Right? So, like, like you wouldn't go and jam looking like a bum, right? You wouldn't go to a a job interview in a pair of jeans, man. You know what I mean? You dress up for the event. <laughs> right. Go in. It's the same system, man. Mm. It's, it's the same system. The, um, the other thing as well, which I know came up back in the day, my back in the day, but I still think holds true, is like the, the 
I want to see people dance to the fucking tune. Yeah. And I know that is uh, obvious, but like in the same way that you know, you're giving examples of like kung fu graph in relation to break dancing, dance to break dancing, fundamental. And um, it's nice to see a windmill, it's nice to see a head spin, but I like it to the beat. I like it happening to the beat. I like the footwork to be part of, it's the setup, like you say, and I do love when things freeze at a certain point rather than it's just some big. Gymnastics. <laughs> they are doing that though. Uh-huh. They, they are do, that. Right. The, the thing is, they are doing that. Now, this is a question as well, and I'm not. I'm not like slating anyone, or I'm always putting a question mark after it because you leave it out there, right? Mm-hmm. The the system is the same, so it's just the error is different. So the mm. the, the, the 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 time and space of breaking that is different. It's changed. Mm-hmm. Right, even the shape of breaking has changed. Yeah, yeah, and it's more in the air mm. than it is on the floor. Not that it's not on the floor, right? Oh, there's some amazing moves at the moment. So right, yeah, yeah, right. If when you yeah. see double air flares and you see like, like I seen combos, bro, and I'm like, holy shit, bro. Yeah, no, you didn't think the human mind, body, soul could like even if do you that did that shit. back in the day. But the, there's another thing now. Now, if you saw a guy breaking in, like, some scraggly clothes and a, 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 or a weird tracksuit or however, mm. not looking mm. like, not in an Adidas tracksuit no, no, or no, no. tracks or whatever, right? Yeah. And then you saw him doing a particular, just say a particular run, mm. right? So he's done, you know, I don't know, flare, air flares in, into into munches, back onto his head, into a night, right? Because they do you, shit like you that. You can do that shit, kids. Just <laughs> Google that shit, They can kid. do that you know, shit, right? They Google do. that shit, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And then they freeze, right? But then you see another guy doing the same thing, dressed up in colour coordination, just say pumas, right? Lee jeans, mm-hmm. like a nice, like, Kango mm-hmm. or, a, or, or a, you know, mock neck. Mm-hmm. It would look different, man. Let's get yeah, it straight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right? It stylizes it a little bit better, in my opinion. Yeah, I okay. agree. I like that kind of imposter look where you kind of someone just comes in. You know when Tony Vegas done the ITF champs? Right, right, he's just right. Saying right, like, right. They, they introduced him as Huck Kilberry Finn or some shit. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't ready for yeah, him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's, right. Yeah, it's a sneaky. It, it, yeah, so you don't, you wouldn't expect that. Mm. And the idea of b-boying is that anything that we do shouldn't be predictable. It shouldn't be, oh shit, like. It's like you can see it happening before mm. it's happened now. Mm. Mm. Like you want to, it's and it should be everything that we do. Like oh shit, I didn't expect him to do that at that time and at that moment. Yeah, that's cool. Although that being said, though, isn't there? It's a, it's kind of a, a route to passage, unfortunately. And I I say this as a as a documenter yeah. because after a while the documenter does have to go and experience the thing mm. and i think what happens is and i can only talk in regards to graph is i had every intention not to look like a graph no, <laughs> no. <laughs> and guess what yeah. you know by the time i've gone through my season i'm just going out wearing painted overalls yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, be- cool. yeah but th- that's you in it be- yeah. it becomes it something becomes you doesn't yeah. it right Right, exactly. Before you know it, you've got your shell toes on, yeah. you know. But it's weird though, bro, because I just think to myself, like, I don't dress like that now. No. You know what I mean? Because you're older and you, mm. you've, you've, you've kind of... You've come from the other it. side, don't you? Right, right, exactly. But also when I break, I make sure that I, I look fresh. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I make sure I'm colour coordinated. Mm-hmm. And I'm not, I'm not gaining no sci-fi and I'm like... Odd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't put fat laces on, but I make sure that I'm I'm looking fresh. Mm. Like and sometimes like, I'd wear certain colours and a white kick. So when you're seeing me footwork and doing certain things, you can see things. Certain things happen. Right in the <gasps> circle, and it's darker. So you kind of like you, you understand that. Oh, Sci-fi should be done more. Shit. I mean, look, bro. That's why we we you know you know I don't know if you know Kate Scanners. She does the bridge. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Right, yeah, right. yeah. She does the bridge, and we do less jam. Together. That's right. Hold tight. That's a wicked. <laughs> I need to still need right. to go down there. Right now, now less jam. It was on recent, wasn't it? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did right. a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, the idea was of less jam was like I wanted to bring before Red Bull started doing their cipher before mm. qualifiers. Mm-hmm. We was doing ciphers to just say like kids. Come down. You, you need to cipher. Yeah, yeah. Learn to cipher. Like cipher is where it happens. 
and then do your competitions mm-hmm. and do your do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. But the 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 whole idea of what was created to let people come back to ciphers, mm-hmm. learn to cipher, man. Mm-hmm. Don't lose that, man. Don't don't ever lose ciphers, man, because mm-hmm. this is where it's at. It's true. Like you yeah. get so engrossed in competitions, like. For a lot of these guys, a lot of these kids now. That's all they do for that, isn't it? Yeah. it it's, it's, that's, 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 that's kind of sad. Yeah, it's the same with turntablism, actually. There came a point where it's like, they just went to the DMC and that was it. They just got the IGF. It's when that fact, it's when the technology was suddenly there, all the platforms suddenly mm. became a little bit redundant. Mm. They then got creative. Mm. Mm. And like you say, ciphers is where it's at. It has to be, man. Mm. Everything. Mm. Everything comes from the ciphers, man. The circle. Mm. The understanding of like... It just makes it so raw. And for people to taste that, they will, they will take that away with them mm-hmm. and it will keep, it will, ba- it will be in them. So no matter where you're going to be... You'll always have that. Right. That's like your, uh, that's your study, isn't it? Yeah. But i tell you something, though. i tell you something. Because when we did Less Jam at the bridge recently, it was crazy, right? Because it was raining that day. It was a Saturday. Mm-hmm. And it was fucking cold and raining, bro. Uh... They surprised me, these kids. The floor was wet, bro. And they were on it? They went for it, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, w- they were b- dirty, man. I mean, I mean, I got down myself, right? Mm-hmm. But these, like, I didn't get on my back. They were on the, like Business they... was spinning as well, wasn't he? Huh? Was business spinning? Was it business? Yeah, later yeah, on, yeah. later on. So we had Lever, Lever 57, mm-hmm. the girl. Mm-hmm. We had Deck one on there. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had, we had, we had the, we had the side for four, about an hour and something, hour and a half. Mad. But, Man, they went for it, man. I was, I was like, I was, I was like impressed. Well, better way to spend your Saturday, man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Don't it was, get bad. Surely, doesn't get bad. If you, if you really are hungry and you want it, that's what you got to do. But I didn't know that. To tell you the truth, I, I kind of like, not that I misjudged them, and I was like, these, these kids ain't gonna break. But it, it showed you that when you, the, I'm not. I'm, we're talking about you see when you give it, give them a platform. They go, right. yo, and that's what I'm saying about 2024 and everything that's coming in between now and then. I just think there's so much. That I think the best is yet to come, isn't it? Yeah. For these young people. Yeah. But oh. the thing is, there also has to be people that, that give them that. Yeah. If you don't, if you're going to give them competitions all the time, that's all they're going to know. That's all they're going to know. That's right. Right? Because it, you're not actually supporting the foundations of the art form. Right. Yes. And, and for all the generations, because I think some people, they give up. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, even from, from, let's not talk about the 80s. I think even 90s B-boys are called old school now. No. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's bad. It's bad, right. isn't it? Right. Yeah. So we need to keep feeding. Mm. N- 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 whether they take it or not, that's another story. It doesn't matter. But it's everything. Keep, yeah. Everything. Information. C- keep places feeding. Places educate. Break, everything, yeah. 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 <laughs> but we are. <laughs> we are, baby. Right, We're that's here. right. So, yeah. What's the future, my brother? What's the future for you? Good question, man. No idea. No idea. I've been asked a few times, man. I, I, I haven't got a clue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on going until I can go. That's what I wanna hear. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm. Thank God, I'm, I'm fit. Yeah. Um, my hip's pretty good. Mm, good. I, I feel, I feel new. But it's only, it's only been almost. Well, it's been just over a year since I've had my hip replacement. So. And it's not as bad as people tell you. Right. I've had people tell me, like, even when I told Renegade, I was like, I'm going to, you guys, you ain't breaking after that, bro. I'm like, all right. Them we laughed at it. We yeah. like, right, we like. And it's not, it's yeah. not about, I'm proving a point here. Mm. It's about. You it's, just genuinely weren't right, sure. And people right. were probably telling you half true facts. Right, right. Yeah, you know I mean, hold tight, Renegade. Hold yeah. tight, everybody that actually, to be fair, anyone that comes out of a hip replacement, you, it's hard to get you doing the things that are meant to exercise it better, isn't well, it? It's hard. I feel new. Yeah. I feel... Do I feel, Yeah, yeah, I feel new. I feel new and I feel... And I, I feel that you I You took have, it to the mountain, didn't you? You yeah, were hurting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Six years of, of, of solid pain and it got, it got worse and worse and worse until I was like, mm. I, I need to do this now. Like, my, I was dragging my leg, my left leg. And I was like, when I'm walking, and every time... And the funny thing was, bro, when I was walking, I get some brothers looking at me and they'd be like, what were you bowling for, mate? And I'm like, I'm not. I said, my hip's gone. <laughs> my hip's gone, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. I mean, there's a few exceptions. Big up Junior. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, he pulls yeah. it out of the bag with yeah. all sorts of 
But, you know, if you're in pain and if it's got to that point, you know I mean, anybody that's suffering for... Yeah, no, you know, it, it, was, it was bad. It was bad. It, was, it, 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 it doesn't get any better. So anyone who's, 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 got, who's had it or is their hips actually worn away because it's bone and bone rubbing, mm. get it done straight done. away. And don't believe, like, I thought, I'm doing Before things. Before it's over, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not, man. It's like, I'm, I haven't even, like, got into my flow. I'm just, I'm, like, re-practicing again. That's so sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm re-practicing everything. My footwork's, like, I'm bringing my footwork back in. So I'm tighter. I'm just playing around still, man. On some new age bionic shit. Yeah, now. yeah no, it is. It's, 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 it's amazing, shit. bro. Yeah. Honestly, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't. I could turn over. I could do things now. I could run. And I'm. You, and you know the important thing is for me. It's it's um, a mentality thing as well because when you do things like this, is not to think. I don't think I've had a hip replacement. Mm. I block it. Mm-hmm. If I thought every time I practice in the week or yeah, and then I'm yeah, teaching yeah, yeah, I've yeah. I've had a hip replacement, I would. You I wouldn't I, be I, doing it. Right. Yeah. I, I'd stop, and it will put you off. Yeah. It, it will mess with my with whatever I'm doing. Mm. Anything, forget about breaking anything. Like I'd be conscious about mm. right running, because I'd be like, oh man, it's gonna wear my hip out. No, it's not, bro. Like, I think that's an important lesson to anybody that's yeah. had any sort of surgery or anything. Because yeah. you know, to have something that you're loving, you love and you're passionate about that can drive you forward and inspire you to get well. Right. Not think. Yeah. And it, that's great. But I think it's important for everybody that they understand that yo know, like. You're cool now. Yeah. yeah. Focus. Yeah. And you don't have think to. too much. Yeah, yeah. you have to. Because you, if you're overthinking, you're going to mess yourself up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you have to stay, like, really In the positive. Yeah. 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 And I, and I do, man. I'm, I'm like, I mean, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm enjoying it again. I thought I wasn't. I, mm. I thought, man, you know, I'm, I'm not going to. And I'm going to be, like, cautious. But then I kind of changed my mindset and, and said to myself, fuck it, let's go. You know, every year is like I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull back, and then every year I'm just. I'm still going. Damn hip replacement! Now I got to do it. Now I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I gotta go. Right. So yeah. Just when the body said no. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. all so good, man. Well, it's so, fucking pleasure to have you still. Thank you for having me, the man. Floors, my thank brother. You, thank you. Thank you. Bless thank you. Thank you so much for passing through. Pleasure, man. Pleasure. I haven't seen you for years. I so know, it's cool. It's really, it's really cool. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> we got the stars in the building, man. Pervers inside the house. Thanks so much, brother. Yeah. Killer Cat Podcast. Outlighting was out of fashion, all Peace. right? Peace, Peace, Stay lucky, people. Don't Peace. talk to anyone I wouldn't. <laughs> Easy. Peace. Peace. Peace.